Hey guys, so after my last video I got a few requests on how to install the reshade mod that I was using in SnowRunner, so I'm going to show you how to do that today. It should also be noted that this only works for PC, obviously, since you are running a third party program, and this tutorial is specific to the Steam download version. I do not know if there are any differences between the Xbox, Microsoft Store, uh, Xbox Game Pass app, or the uh, Epic Game Store in terms of file paths. So you might have to look up a specific install uh, for those. But it all depends on how the file structure is. So the first thing you're going to need to do is create an empty folder on your desktop to extract the archive file that we are going to need. Name it whatever you want. So the reshade that we are going to be installing is the SnowRunner Natural Reshade. The reason I'm picking this one is because this download actually comes bundled with the reshade program as opposed to having to install that separately. So this is just an all-in-one installer that I think is much faster. And personally, I think it's one of the better looking reshades available. So instead of hitting subscribe, we're gonna go down here and hit the manual download. Once the archive has been downloaded, open where it's at in the folder. <clears throat> the archive should be titled SnowRunner Natural Reshade V1. So go ahead and open that. If you have WinRAR like I do, you don't actually have to extract the archives, but if you don't, Extract the contents of the archive you just downloaded into the folder that you made on your desktop. Go ahead and open that folder and size down this window so that you can have two of the file explorers open on your desktop at the same time. For the Steam version, you're going to go to wherever your Steam games are, and that is where your Steam library, Steam apps, common folder is, and you're going to look for the SnowRunner folder. From there, you're going to open the sources and bin, and then you're just going to drag and drop all four of these files directly into this folder. I'm going to be overwriting because I've actually installed this previously, but I needed to reinstall it because I messed it up anyway. And now we're going to check and make sure it's working. Go ahead and start your SnowRunner as normal, and you'll know Reshade is installed properly if you see a loading bar at the top of your screen as the program begins to start up. And then once you get to the main menu, you can test if it's working right here. Just hit the home button on your keyboard and this will open the reshade menu. Click on this bar up here, which is essentially the file explorer, and click on SnowRunner Natural. Hit select. You now have the SnowRunner Natural reshade up and running. If you ever want to toggle it disabled, just hit end. And you can hit end again to turn it back on. This is useful because this is a third-party post-processing software. It it will decrease your performance, not by a ton, but if you're on a rig that's already struggling to run SnowRunner during intense lighting situations, specifically like sunset and sunrise, uh, even my computer slows down by a couple of frames, so sometimes toggling it off isn't too bad of an idea. And there you go. You now have Reshade running on your SnowRunner. You can also create your own Reshade presets because you can mess with any of these and change the settings to your liking. Uh, I'm not too good at this stuff, so I pretty much only download people's presets because I don't trust myself uh, to do any of this, really. So, <laughs> yeah, I hope this was helpful to you guys.